So when I said that the final trailer was going to drop in a couple of days, I didn't think it was going to be literally the next day. Uh, I don't think anybody did. Because from the tweet that uh, we were given, it was, you know, people were saying, oh, it's in the next couple of days. So, yeah, uh, two reactions, one after the other, and hopefully I'll be able to do something else other than reactions. Yeah, let's get this set up uh it's three minutes long um per usual the reason i don't put videos on screen is mainly to just allow people to go and see it themselves on uh, the official websites or the official youtube channels so that way they get the view and advertisement uh and audio reasons is mainly because i don't want to risk copyright in terms of uh, if someone clean or sanctuary pops up or face my fears whatever the case may be uh but yeah in three two one go you could sync it up yourself Kyrie dialogue <laughs> yep simple and clean this is why i don't do this is why I don't do the audio. Experience our new journey through musical memories. Unlock new songs as you visit familiar worlds. Defeat enemies with rhythmic field battles. Oh, I love Wave of Darkness. Such a good song. Oh man, Pride Lands. Oh my god, it's weird to see Sora regular form next to Simba in Pride Lands. But I do like how they have the environments laid out. Okay, Dream Drop Distance Riku. Turn this down a little bit. On the other side, Battle Version. Okay, Aqua Terran, Ventus, I suspected that, but can we play as the others and not just who we're seeing? Take on formidable foes on in boss battles. Kyrie won, and soar through spectacular music videos and in memory dives. Play side by side with a friend in co-op mode. 13 struggle. Oh god, that's such a bop. Online versus battle. Oh yeah, that is Cheerthy. I thought it was Cheerthy. Click materials to synthesize new songs and items. Hello? your collection of movies, music, and and more in the museum. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Okay, here's here's where it gets messy. Melody and memories hold the secret of his final plan. Okay, this is what we saw in the last trailer where Rika walks in. Oh, that's how they're going to do it? Okay. Unless there's something messy in the end. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, that's how you're going to give us... Uh... So, yeah, the trailer looks cool. I'm still excited. The only thing I'm a little curious about is how people are perceiving this and how it is marketed. Uh, most people are saying that it's a Kyrie-centric game. Uh, Kari focused and you kind of get that way with the box art and that sort of stuff but there's something about it that just seems something just feels off I don't know why you know like it presents itself as that in certain ways but it's like there's something about it because I don't know there, there's just no showing of actually Kari being out on the field and fighting in any kind of battles in this unless they're hiding it all or hiding something of it but it's just, I don't, something about it just weirds me out. It, it makes me think of 
Remind, which is not a good thing, because I didn't really like Remind's, uh, a lot of things that Remind did. Uh, it reminds me of the limit cut where in the theater uh, of Kingdom Hearts 3, it says it is uh, quote-unquote episode Riku, and you don't really play as Riku all that much. You get, like, what, two seconds to run around and talk to Final Fantasy characters, and that was just such a dumb decision to even throw them in at, like that, and just, it, it it went pretty much the way that I didn't want them to do. Final Fantasy characters just chuck them in as story, and it was very little, so it was the kind of the point. You could have just waited to do stuff like that. It, but the main thing is, is that you get a bit of story with Riku at the very beginning. You do something that's like completely unrelated to Riku. And then you get Riku's story at the very end. And that's what I'm a little scared that this game is going to do. You're going to get maybe a tiny bit before she goes into a coma with Kairi. You're going to play as the game. has, you know, all these different characters with Sora, Dream Drop Distance Riku, Roxas, and that sort of thing. And at the very end, you're going to get that last bit of story. And that's going to jump right into Cage 4. And that's something I'm a little worried about. Just a tiny bit. But, uh, but yeah, outside of that, it, it just... It, it, it looks fun. I, I, like I said before, it's long overdue that a rhythm game for Kingdom Hearts has... Like, it, it should have happened a long time ago. The game has enough music to support it, and I think now it's like... There's so much more music that it's like, okay, this is a lot. Like, over a hundred plus songs, that's honestly, that's pretty big for a, a rhythm game to have. Like, you know, it's, people are screaming about this game existing as a rhythm game. First of all, it, you're, like I said before, you have to really rethink your situation because, you know, a lot of things that are getting said are just plain, just idiot related. It's just, it, it, it just, it doesn't make sense in a lot of these cases. Like, oh, the, the qual by holding a standard and holding a quality, what KH games do, and you're gatekeeping with this rhythm game. It's like, no, a lot of people wanted a rhythm game. Having a story is more incentive because it pushes the story along. I just wish that it would not, you know, supplement little bits, you know, in certain ways. If it does that, I would like a full-fledged story to be told. And it probably will because we don't know how the story is going to get laid out. Um, but, yeah, it's just it's not gatekeeping. And plus, we have Kingdom Hearts 4 is being made. We all know that. Cage 4 is being made right now by the Osaka team. We have at least three teams working on something. We have the Union Cross slash the Dark Road team. We have this team working on Melody and Memory. And we have the Osaka team making the full-fledged Cage games that we know and love. So, why are you complaining that we're getting a game literally after Remind? God only knows. Yeah, but I'm going to end this video. Hope you enjoyed uh, my reaction. It was, it was a nice trailer. And November 13th is not that far away. And that's actually a couple days after my birthday. My birthday's November 9th. So it's like, what, three, three or so days after my birthday? So that's going to be fun. Uh, I'm probably going to end up getting like a PS4 version. And then later getting a Switch version. Even if the game is bad, I'll still probably pick it up on <laughs> Switch. Because, you know, it's, you know, supporting, you know, Getting a Kingdom Hearts game going to Switch and Kingdom Hearts on the go is just fun. <laughs> it's just a fun, fun idea. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you all next time. Until then, I'm Spitch 100 Signing out to next time. See you, everybody. Have an awesome day.